Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to study how to make a 3D box in perspective. And here is a geometry sketchpad demo of that. So we're going to study how is it possible to have your box uh, disappear towards the vanishing points in either direction. And we're also going to understand how to build this box dynamically so if you alter any of the parameters the box uh, readjusts itself. Alrighty, in order to do this, please open Geometry Sketchpad 5.0 or higher. And uh, here is uh, how we're going to start. Uh, first, we need a horizontal line that is a uh, going to be our horizon. So you go to the Line tool, and if you press your Shift key, what's going to happen is the uh, line that you're going to draw is going to be uh, horizontal and for visibility purposes I'm gonna make this uh, line to be of medium thickness and then what we need is we need a line that is perpendicular to the horizon line and before I forget let me name my horizon line here horizon so that I understand uh, this is by the way in the perspective drawing this is the eye level of the observer that's what a horizon is. So now I'm going to create a perpendicular to the horizon. Uh, and what I'm going to do is on this line, I'm going to create uh, another point that's going to give me uh, an edge of the box. So what we can now do is hide the perpendicular uh, line. So I'm going to hide the perpendicular line. Now I can join these two points uh, so that uh, they create a, a segment perpendicular to our horizon. Observe, uh, we are not able to change uh, this uh, line to be anything but perpendicular. I can move it around, but it's always going to be perpendicular to the horizon. So now, uh, and it's probably a good idea uh, to uh, remember anything that is a movable point. I'm going to call anything movable with the label M. So I remember that these are points that I'm able to actually change uh, parameters about. So this is a movable point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from the movable point at the top and we're going to create uh, segments that go towards the vanishing points on the horizon. So this is a vanishing point. Uh, this is another vanishing point. And when I join them, you can start seeing how the structure of the box is going to be created. Uh, I'm going to also select now, create a point, a movable point on this side of the uh, box and another point on this side of the box and uh, these are these points are going to determine the dimensions of the box for me so what I now need to do is I need to shoot a parallel so I select this new corner of the box and I make an edge that is parallel to this existing edge construct parallel line and what it does is it defines yet another corner of the box and I'm gonna do this also on the other side select this point and uh, I'm going to construct another parallel uh, and observe it also creates another point on this side of the box uh, I'm gonna hide these because I don't need them but what I need is uh, let me show it to you uh, I need the edges which are gonna be segments. So I go from here to there, I go from here to there, and observe these are again movable points that I could move that direction towards the vanishing point and that direction towards the other vanishing point. So I'm going to remind myself that this is also a movable point. Uh, let me do that again. And this is also a movable point. I hope these uh, M notation doesn't confuse you. Uh, we may hide that in a few minutes anyway. Alrighty, so we complete the box by joining uh, all these points that we created to all the vanishing points and the box's dimensions will be created. So from here I go 
from this point to the vanishing point here, from this point to the vanishing point there, from this point to the vanishing point there, from this point to the vanishing point there. Uh, it's initially going to look confusing. Oops, I just made a mistake. Let me do that again. From this point to the vanishing point here. Uh, it is probably a good idea at some point to uh, alter some of these things so that things don't overlap so much. So let me see how I can make this look a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to maybe move things out a little bit. Yep. So the important thing is now the back corners of the box have been created. So here they are. Uh, I'm going to dash all the... Uh, segments that go into the creation of the box. I'm going to quickly uh, make them uh, dashed. Okay. And what I'm going to do is anything that is a solid edge, I'm going to uh, create them as solid. So I'm going to go like that, like that. I'm just going to basically go over and change the uh, the parts of the box that I should see as solid, I'm going to make them solid. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go from here to there. Here we go from here to there. Uh, at that point, at this point, it might be beneficial. Uh, this is uh, this last edge is should be invisible, so I'm going to make that also dashed. Uh, at this point, it might be beneficial to go to the polygon tool and uh, uh, have polygons create the faces of the uh, uh, of the box. So here is one polygon. Here is another one. And then, uh, oops, when I go back, and then here is another one. So you will notice uh, that when I'm done with that, uh, I have uh, the three visible faces of the box thus created. And all the points I have labeled M are initial points of the construction, so they are changeable. So I can make the box uh, taller or higher uh, by changing those parameters. Uh, I can also make the box uh, deeper towards one of the vanishing points in one direction or the other. Okay, so you notice uh, in this, uh, with this method you're able to create a three-dimensional box in perspective uh, once you have your horizon and uh, the vanishing points. Alrighty, I hope this was enjoyable to you. Uh, I invite you to do more challenging constructions uh, uh, in perspective, in 3D perspective, uh, such as the case where uh, you have, uh, for example, a missing part of the cube, so a cube removed from uh, a cube. Things of that sort uh, might be actually a little bit more fun and challenging to construct. But here is uh, a 3D box in perspective. I hope you enjoyed and uh, hope to work with you in more constructions. Take care.